Howdy, my name's Bud Mason. I'm with the Real Community Assistance Partnership. We're here today to discuss collection systems. Now, I've been involved with wastewater systems for over 25 years, and I was originally told I needed to know three things. First, it all goes downhill. Second, the boss is not necessarily a nice person. And three, payday's Friday. Well, the three things I really needed to know concerned the wastewater treatment plant, lift stations, and the out of sight, out of mind component that's made out of many pieces, requires a lot of maintenance and a lot of costs associated with that maintenance, and that's the wastewater collection system. Why is a wastewater collection system so important? Well, it's the first step in removing the waste from your home, and without it, the lift stations would have nothing to lift, and the treatment plants would have nothing to treat. There are two different types of wastewater collection systems. There's the sanitary sewer, which only accepts wastewater, and there's also a combined sewer that accepts wastewater along with stormwater. When I say wastewater, I mean the wastewater that leaves your homes and businesses through your everyday use. Stormwater includes rainwater and water runoff from parking lots, ditches, and roads. The best way for me to describe a collection system to you is, I want you to think about a tree. On that tree is many leaves. Those leaves are connected to a stem. The stem is connected to a branch, and the branch is connected to the trunk. I want you to think of all those leaves as all the homes in your communities. The city sewers are equal to the branches. You follow the branch down, it hits the trunk. The trunk is generally considered a trunk line, which is the major inflow into your wastewater treatment plant. What we have here is a manhole cover, and it pretty much is what it says it is. It covers the manhole that your employees use to perform access on your sewer mains. They're located anywhere between 350 to 400 feet on a sewer main, or any time a sewer main changes directions. There's a reason manhole covers are round. That's to keep it from falling to the bottom when the lids are removed. I was also told a long time ago, if you can't fit down a manhole, they can't make you go down one. The reason staff would need to go down there would be to perform maintenance if the sewer main is plugged. And anytime staff would need to go down in there, all safety precautions would need to be followed. What we have here is a lift station. You may see them around town, you may have one by your home. It's part of the collection system. As the wastewater leaves your home, it flows by gravity through the sewer mains and ends up usually in a lift station. Inside of a lift station is a series of pumps that takes the wastewater and lifts it up so gravity can continue its work as the wastewater flows out to the wastewater treatment plant. Now we're out here at the wastewater plant. At the wastewater plant is where your collection system ends and it delivers raw sewage to the treatment plant. At the treatment plant, it takes that raw sewage and through various processes, turns it into a quality effluent that enters back into the environment. Now there's an old cowboy saying that says, always draw your coffee water upstream of the herd crossing. No matter where you're at, you're upstream of somebody's drinking water supply. For Real Community Assistance Partnership, this is Bud Mason.